Well, how about a little update with the Samurais? Allen's big box Samurai. Lost transmission out at Trumbulls. Uh, pretty much toasted all the clutches in it. They were only had, I think, first and reverse when it went on the trailer. Got a new transmission in it. And you saw the video of it. That was the first time new torque converter allowing it to come up on the trans brake a bit more and it will wheelie now. But very right away in the beginning of the video, it lost, sorry, right away in the beginning of his first run, it lost second gear, just completely gone. It's not like it slipped or anything. It just second became first. I believe it lost the sprag gear and it took out the drum with it. So we pulled that out or they pulled that out. I wasn't part of this one. Pulled it out, got it replaced, I think with another stock one, new ones on the way. So the transmission will have to come back out, but got it back in, took it to Barry County and ran the cop bog Monday night. And right off the line, probably first 10 feet or so, it split the flange or yoke, whatever you want to call it the yoke off the drive shaft and it threw the shaft out and he had to continue the run with just front wheel drive, which is quite impressive because he's only half a second off the next guy. And I think it would have beat that. I think this was probably one of the top three there, but that's racing. That's how it goes sometimes. But other than that, this one's running really good. Other than transmission, which is holding up now, it's only got that one pass on it. Five seconds of runtime, so that's fine. What else? Shocks have been properly set up now, or at least pressure wise, so it's not squatting as bad. Put some fans after the first run. What those are doing is blowing fresh air in because it's pulling so much methanol in through all the cracks that it's pretty much gassing the passengers out. You don't want that with methanol. And that made that a lot better. But other than that, I think that is about it for this one. Let's see. Yeah, that's it. I think all it's good with that other than new drive shaft because it did break, bent the old one. It needs a new shaft, new yoke, and then fix the transmission, sprag, drum, whatever the heck goes all bad. And then this one's good to go. Probably won't be out though again until mud jam. Maybe sooner, we'll see. All depends if he wants to go run something here in the next two weeks. Now, Brandon's. Remember this one last ran at Country Boys. Ran the hot dog race, bogged it once. What else? Oh, freestyle, I won the freestyle. Lucky, but that's how freestyle goes. Still having some issues. Blowing the valve cover, gasket out, or sucking oil out the evac, especially when he turns the left. Um, took it and ran it up at B's back in, I think it was July 8th. I was not there for it. We don't got video of it, but he picked up a nasty vibration, loaded on the trailer. Vibration was still there, even in park. Okay. Messed with it when he got home. Drained the oil and found shavings. Pulled the pan and found connecting rod ends and literally half of the connecting rods broken off. It lost two of them in the engine laying in the pan. So this engine is done, at least for now. Um, probably a fairly somewhat affordable fix, but it still should be fully tore down. New bearings throughout, new rods reassemble and should go. It, no idea why I let go pictures and from what a couple other people think it looked kind of more like a hardware failure on the rod end caps but that's how it goes so that's back in here now 
and it's going to be getting the engine pulled out. And I'm assuming since it's over here in the shop that he's got something in mind because it needs to go to Mud Jam. And at Mud Jam, obviously he needs an engine. So he must have something set aside. I know he's thinking big block, but I think you also take whatever you can get just as long as it's not stock. Bonus part though is as long as nothing hurt, he's got a badass top end to put on it. Look at those dart heads. So he could throw all that onto say a 383 short block or something and still make decent power. I believe this made somewhere north of six on up to about 700, somewhere in that range. No idea what exact power was, but yeah, I think that's about it. If we do anything on this tonight or that tonight, I'll add to this video and film a little more, but that's a quick update for now. Here's a closer look. Completely split right in half. Took out hardware too. Bent three of the four bolts. But, I don't know. I think you might want something a little stronger on there than those. Not to mention, really shouldn't be riding on threads. Better off buying a longer bolt, cut it down, that way it's sitting on the, I don't know what you call that, shank or smooth part of the bolt. But they, are, they keep coming loose too. Don't know, probably time for some nylocks. Try those instead. But yeah, definitely need a little bit of damage. I don't know where the drive shaft is, but if I find it, I'll show that end. Yeah, you can see that. Done fat bolt too, they're all tweaked. That's a great eight. But when they come loose, it's a lot of play. That slack, you'll bend bolts pretty easy. Can't do their job if they're not on all the way. There's the hardware. I think this one is bent. The rest of them might be tweaked. Definitely messed threads up on them. But here's the damage to the front yoke. Wallered that thing out a bit. Oblong, this top's kind of down in now. But in this, but yeah, that right there ain't nothing. But this, it done. That yoke's just junk. So took the front out too. Took out both yokes and the drive shaft. That's cool. <laughs> I guess that's that's racing, they, as they say. Huh. 
to get our contract we're not allowed to. <laughs> That's close. Yeah, buddy and I put it in, but... shaft in. Let's hope this one holds up. Yeah. 
Well, Brandon's is pretty much done. Just need some finishing up before mud jam, bunch of little shit. Got the engine he was trying for. Little 438 big block out of Joe Simon's old blue and white Chevy one ton truck. Was spraying it before. I don't know if Brandon's ever going to plan on doing that or not, but runs pretty good. These are a different set of headers. These are a little too big. These are like two and a half primaries. See some issues. They're pretty beat. Definitely flowing more than what it needs or should, but heck yeah. One almost done. Two, the transmission just come out and that'll be rebuilt. Or sorry, not rebuilt, fixed. Uh, is it second gear drum or some crap? I can't remember. There we go. Guess we'll see these guys run at Mud Jam. Be watching for it.